Hey guys, it's Kevin coming at you with another TA vlog, and today's vlog topic is going to be living the life during COVID-19. As you guys know, COVID-19 is very much still a real thing, and I just wanted to give some tips and pointers on how to, you know, manage the situation that we're going through and make the situation more bearable. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is managing stress. So one thing that I do to really manage stress is taking breaks, and I think taking breaks are very crucial when you know you're very stressed out because it really you know rejuvenates your your body and your brain so what i mean by taking breaks is you know doing something you like like for some people it's going on runs for me it's playing video games watching netflix or just texting my friends yeah, yeah and i think that's very crucial to in order to manage stress another thing i want to talk about is breathing and then that's a very vague statement but just br bear with me so what I mean by breathing is I mean inhaling and then exhaling very slowly. And you do this about three times. And when you do this, actually, your bot, your brain sends a signal to your body in order to de-stress it. So I think that's pretty cool. And the next thing tip that I have for you guys is eat, exercising and eating healthy. And I think that's very cliche, but it's also very uh, useful when managing stress. Um, you know, we all know that when you eat healthy and then you exercise, you know, you feel good. So I feel like those are very important things to do in order to manage stress. And the next thing I want to talk about is dealing with loneliness. So I've, we all deal with loneliness at some point in our life. And I think that in order to overcome that, you have to accept that your feelings are valid and that, you know, it's okay to reach out to friends, you know, to talk to them, you know, send them a text. Um, it's okay to do that. Also, one thing that uh, that really helps me is playing games, you know, connecting with other people. I feel like that really does help with loneliness. And the next thing I want to talk about is connecting with friends and family while apart. So you guys know, because of the pandemic, most of us haven't been able to talk to our friends and our family. So I think one important thing that we can do is, you know, text them, uh, FaceTime them, you know, just connect with them, whether it's through Instagram or another application. I think that's very important. Um, one thing that I do with my friends is that we have Zoom virtual conferences and we just play Among Us on them and we talk about school and how our days are going. And while when we play Among Us, we just share information of the game, you know, who's the imposter. I think that's really cool. I think you guys should do it too. You know, start a group chat with your friends. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is going to going back to school. So a lot of us are going to school um, online and some of us are going through uh, online are going to school physically and some of us are going hybrid. So I think that if you know you're going to school online, I think it's important that you stay up, you stay on top of your assignments and make sure to study for all your things. I know I sound like a dad, but it's you know very important to, that you do that. Also, if you go to school, Physically, I think it's really important that you follow the proper protocols that your school has imposed for you, like maintaining six feet, you know, wearing proper PPE, protective, protective equipment, uh, personal protective equipment, sorry. And uh, I think it's that very important that you follow those because you have to understand that some people are more susceptible to the virus. So I think you should really respect that. Follow proper protocols, wash your hands. And even if you can't wash your hands, sanitize them. From, from now and then, I think that's very important. Uh, so the next thing I wanna talk about is things I've done for fun. So one of the things I've done for fun is like obviously playing video games, as I mentioned, also watching Netflix. I've actually been watching all the Tim Burton movies because I grew up watching all of them and like they bring us so much memories. I think recently I just watched The Corpse Bride and Coraline, which is like amazing movies. And also Nine, uh, Tim Burton actually had I think he co-wrote that movie. I honestly don't know. I know he had something. I know he was involved with it, the project. But yeah, some movie, some people find it creepy, but I absolutely love that movie. Anyways, um, the next thing I want to talk about is staying positive, safe, and healthy. So I think one of the most important things for staying positive is your mindset. Obviously, if you're negative, you're not going to accomplish anything. But if you have a positive mindset, you will be you will be able to accomplish more things. So I think that's very crucial. Also, safe, staying safe, follow proper protective equipment, exercise, eat healthy, 
even if it's, you know, one day replacing the burger, the burger that you want to eat with a veggie wrap, I think that's very important. You know, remember to stay healthy. And one of the subtopics I wanted to talk about was vaping and e-cigarettes. As you guys know, vaping does damage the lungs and cor the coronavirus actually targets the lungs. So, so I think it's very important that, you know, we keep our respiratory system very healthy because, you know, vaping does, you know, weaken your immune system and does weaken your lungs. So it's very important that we, you know, we stay away from vaping in general, not only because it's unhealthy for our bodies, but it makes us more susceptible to the virus. So yeah, that's my TA vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, give it a like and I'll see you till next time.